going everybody it's Craig and I'm back with one of my favorite things to open a trade box I got this trade box from CF Harbor Sean um, he hit me up on Facebook I don't know now a month or so ago I'll give or take and that's hey you want to do a trade box we worked on some parameters we tried to come up with a nice higher a higher end one for us um, it makes it a little bit more fun and you know gives us a little more options with some of the stuff to pick out I sent him his stuff about a week or two ago. He opened up the, up the video. I will put it down below in the description if I remember. Um, I, I will. I'll put it down. I will remember. Damn it. So, I have no idea what's in here. Um, that's the fun of the trade box. You know, I mentioned things that I was looking for. So, some things to fill holes. Uh, some small things. Some, some sort of bigger figure sets, etc. Um, and then I also had sent him a video... That's one of the reasons I put up the video recently on my site, sort of my updated correction tour. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. But, so we'll see what this is. He was a fan, and I know he opens these boxes off screen, like the slicing. Like, I'll take the... I'll, I'll confidently think I can break through them on, on camera. Although, a lot of ways of tape, which is good. I always worry if I try to open it up first and then set it aside... The temptation will be too strong to take that quick little peek. So, as I slice, yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, da 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 da. There we go. So, I'm going to put it on the ground because tabletop wise, I don't have enough of it in front of me without blocking out the view here. But you see, I'm not looking. Let's see. As I'm feeling around, a lot of bubble wrapping, which is always good. So I feel a figure, so let me pull out the first figure I feel. We have Army of Darkness, the Pit Witch, and the Deadite Centurion. I actually think I have this one. I think there's only one I'm missing. I think this is one I do have. But you know what? It's not a bad set anyway. Um, and it's something I'm sure I will definitely find a nice home for. But these are very underrated, these figures. The, um... The Army of Darkness ones. You don't see a lot of them. Like, you see the bigger ones out there. But this this set has... I have, um... In fact, I guess I could show you. I have... I guess if you look over on that wall there. I think you can see it. We have them up there. Like, they have... The, um... It's the only set that's made a... Like, this split ash figure. Like, ash turning into two. Which is pretty neat, if you ask me. But, okay. So, there's that. Let's see what else we got. We got a bunch, okay, a book. We got Room Morgue. Um, I don't know if I got this. I have this one or, or not. Is this the newest one? I'm trying to think what box Room Morgue comes in. If it came in the last BAM, the BAM, the first BAM haul, I might have it. But if not, I actually am a big fan of these, and I do enjoy reading them. I, I did like to see that, um, Actually, no, I don't think. I think this is the new one. So it's just cool. I did see that I think Jay is going to call him a relationship now with them, too, uh, with Fight Crate. So that's nice. I always enjoy reading through those things. Let's see. We got a tinier... Huh. I can't figure with this. Let's see. Shot glasses, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, excellent. Yeah, this is something I did mention to him, which I did not have, and I held off on getting. Um, at the time... You know, Scary Terry and his, um, what is it? Risen bitch, risen bitch. At the time, I'll be honest, I wanted this purely because I was a fan of Freddy Krueger. And I thought it was a neat price set. I'll be, tell you this, though. Since that time, my uh, my roommate, he is a huge Rick and Morty fan. He was always like, you gotta watch, you gotta watch, you gotta watch, you gotta watch it. And I've gotten into Rick and Morty. I've seen probably about 70% of the episodes. And I'm... I've already ordered the other sets. I didn't order this one because I thought I told a few people about it, potentially for boxes. But I am definitely hooked on Rick and Morty. Some of it's fun, just some of the lines in it, like it's it's crazy uh, the way it is. But there's like in I think episode two, the one with the dog becomes a robot. And, you know, he's well not a robot becomes um a sentient, knowledgeable. He shows up in front of the girl's bed and he's like, summer. What have you done with my testicles, Summer? I know you... Like, it's just it's just fun. If I like it. Listen, I say that as someone used to love Family Guy. We have DVDs in here, which is always good. 
because, are they DVDs? Oh, DVDs and a Weta, maybe. Let's see. This is, okay, this is, is this a note or is it a picture? Oh, no, it's a, it's a poster. Okay. It's the most wonderful time of the year, Dismembering Christmas. I am not familiar with Dismembering Christmas. Um, looks creepy. And if that's something coming out, it'll be nice to check out a good Christmas horror movie. And if it's something that is out already... Oh, okay. <laughs> As I say that, it is an older movie. That's one of the DVDs. I don't know how I, that one slipped on me. I'm going to watch this today. This is Remembering Christmas. I'm filming this video at, what, almost 12 o'clock, I guess, on a Saturday. I, for some reason, I've never seen this. I, well, at least I don't think I've seen it. I will check it out. That's very nice. Oh, and don't go to the reunion. There's gore and This, you know what, this is right up my alley, too. This is great. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not familiar with either one of these movies, which I think is good. Like, a lot of movies I find myself really liking, you know, ones that I go through Amazon. Amazon Prime is the best place to do it, because especially if you do Amazon Prime after you pick a movie and you go to, um, you know, you might enjoy this or other people watch this. That's when you start going deeper and deeper into the depths and stuff pops up that doesn't come up in the normal searches. So that's very neat. And there's a lot of other things in here, too. We got some more movies. Can't watch these all today, but I will definitely watch the one of them. We have Necropolis, Beneath Metropolis is Necropolis when the New York loves their death. Okay, Full Moon Grindhouse movie, that's beautiful. Another one that I saw when I first saw it, there was something else. I don't know, I will definitely check that out. It has a lot of cheesy, nostalgic goodness related to it. You know, I know the gray here is a little bit off. And then Death Gal, Death Gasm, I do know. Um, but I don't have a copy of it. I've only seen it on Netflix, so I am very happy to own a Blu-ray. Nice. Like I said, this has been a f definitely a fun box. That's why I like this stuff. We have a... A book? Is that a book? We have a book, and we have another box. Two for one. Let's go. We got... Volume 3 of Clyde Barker's Book of the Blood. Okay. I have not read... I have not read a non-psychology rated book in a very, very long time. Oh, and we got a, D and we got a, v a VCR tape, which that's neat. I actually have the poster for long time as well. I got the D I do have the Blu-ray. I do have a few Blu-ray collections of them. I love, one, I love Elijah Dushku. Um, I think she had potential to be another big scream queen with this, with um, what, Eloise, with, Oh, there was a Grave Encounters, was it what? She did a bunch of them, but then she sort of got away from it. I think she, she could have. She's not quite there, but... Wong Tan, if you haven't seen Wong Tan, the first Wong Tan is great. And for what it's worth, even though they produced a whole bunch of extras afterwards, like, I think now it's up to seven, Wong Tan 5 had Doug Bradley in it, and it was gory as hell and evil as hell, but I like that too. And some of the other ones are still, they're still watchable. None of them are like, uh, well, maybe one of them is, but I won't tell you which one that is, because I don't know if I remember the number. But this is a fun box. This has just been a lot of, like you said, a lot of stuff that I didn't necessarily think about that I enjoy having. Here we have what feels like a reaction figure type is, oh, it's not. No, this is diff boy, way different than a reaction figure. Oh, this is more like a custom, Okay. An Army of Darkness custom chainsaw. I don't know who makes this, or else I would tell you. But this is right up my alley. I like stuff like this a lot. And I am a huge Bruce Campbell guy. Um, so that is very neat. You know, it almost has like the Dead End Toys type vibe. But I don't think it's them because they put their name on, on their stuff. Um, but that looks very, very neat. And from a Freudian phallic standpoint... I guess it makes sense that the chainsaw is positioned as Bruce Campbell's clutch, because that's how Bruce Campbell rolls. Let's see, what else do we have? We have, now we have a book. Another book. Oh, okay, so now we have volume one. So we have volume one and volume three. I'm not going to say for sure, but I wonder if volume two is in here as well. If it is, that will be neat. If not, I'll have to track that down too. Let's see what else we got. Pins maybe? No? Cards? Crow, Frighteners, Burn, okay, yeah, I'm not going to open these, 
Um, I actually got a bunch of packs of these recently, too, and, um, what was it? In, uh, I think the uh, a package from, um, a little box, a little shop box of horrors they did with a lot in Reynolds, the Wasp Boy one. And I'll save them for giveaways myself, um, because having cards thrown about isn't necessary. Okay, we have a bigger figure. Bubble lap. Might just be, okay, let's see, it might just be the bigger figure. Let's see what we got here. Here we have, it's beautiful. This is actually something I am very excited to get. It's something that I've mentioned to people as a trade, and that's the only reason I haven't bought it. Because I've told it to people as stuff. They're like, yeah, I didn't pick it up yet, I wouldn't mind it. And that'll go very nicely, and then it'll make sense when the Hitchhiker 2-pack comes out too. But we got Chop Top NECA, Retro NECA, which is perfect. That is something that I am, I secretly was hoping would be in here, and I'm very, very happy it is in here. So, I'm going to pick up the box and look at it now, because I think I got everything. Um, let's see. Well, we have maybe a, no, a note. I will read that. Um, I, don't, I didn't feel that on top, so hopefully it was spoiled or infused. And we have... Oh, beautiful. Okay, something else I mentioned to... Sean, as I said, yeah, I think that's everything. I don't want to. As I did say, I'm looking to. Um, what are these called? The horror. The pint side heroes. I had seven of them. And I wanted to get the other ones. And I told him the ones I was missing. And he has one of the ones that I wanted. In fact, of the ones I was missing, this is probably top two. Like, you know, this, this would be probably the second one. Pennywise would have been one, but Krampus is number two for sure. So that is great. So now I just need... I'm not even going to pretend to know which ones I need off the top of my head. I just need four more of them. I know Elvira is one of them. Pennywise is one of them. I forget, I forget the others. But that's... Listen. Well, let's take a look at what this is. We got... Original oil paint. Okay, website for a place that does some pretty cool artwork. And I'll show that to you. Crash of Cars by Steve Fujima. That looks pretty neat. I will check I will check in that. The one the one is Santa. Creepy Santa. I'm always a fan of Creepy Santa. We have a pin that says Eat Brains, Correct Toys, and then that's neat. Let's see what Sean has to say. What's up, Craig? Hope everything here finds you well. Thanks for the trade. Sorry it took way long. It did not take long at all. I, we, we agreed on a time that was right on, um, and I just happened to send stuff out quicker, so you did a great job with the turnaround. Uh, everything, hope you enjoy everything. I, I do, I do enjoy everything. I mean, if I had to pick a favorite thing, I'd say the Chop Top, um, but The Army of Darkness is a close second, and getting a couple horror movies that I literally am going to watch one of them now, um, that I had not seen, kudos. By the way, something just hit me. I'm saying this on the video now. I'll probably put it somewhere else, because I am thinking of coming up with a video of, like, products that should be made. Where's the, like, an Elijah Dushku horror figure? Like, you don't even see that in companies like the Guy, who makes people. That'd be amazing to get a figure and then sort of stand the figure, or have the figure packaging in front of the VCV arcade. Spoiler, the chainsaw is some one-on-one custom work um, that, oh, someone won at some kind of auction. Oh, so it's a one-on-one custom job. That is even makes it even nicer. But that is going to look really good, like I said, in the way I saw display in my Army of Darkness corner, which, go back and take a look at the video, the tour video, I sort of give a breakdown of everything. I am sorry this was so freaking long. I just did my second 14-minute video of the day. I didn't mean to. Real quick, if you've made it this far, make it a little bit further. I did put up a contest um, recently. It ends December 1st. All the details are listed there. I got a lot of cool things in mind as far as giveaway goes. And you know what? To be honest with you, based on the option you pick, maybe you see this bad boy in, 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 one, of this, in one of them. But that said, folks, thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, comment, and definitely check out CF Horror. Okay? If you like my type of stuff, he does pretty much the same thing. Unboxing, um, some reviews, tour stuff. So you have a lot of fun with it. Okay? It's a good community. The more we get involved with each other, the more we probably spend money on stuff, I guess. I don't know. Have a good one.